Over the past several years, whenever Samsung has released a new phone in its S series, it has come with two different types of processors, Snapdragon processors from Qualcomm and Exynos processors from Samsung Semiconductors. And there's always been a performance difference between the two. The question is, is there a performance difference this year in 2020? Well, let's find out. So we have the Galaxy S20 Plus with the Exynos 990 on the left hand side. We have the Galaxy S20 Ultra with the Snapdragon 865 on the right hand side. Both devices are running in 1440p and please accept my apologies for the bluish tint on the left hand side. The white balance was just wrong in this recording. However, I thought it was important for us to have this test. Of course, it doesn't affect the test itself. It's a recording issue. So please forgive my uh, failings there. But this is now about the performance of the two devices and of course, as we see now, there is a lead being built up by the Galaxy S20 Ultra with the Snapdragon 865. Is this an omen for how things are going to go? Is this only going to get any worse? Will the Galaxy S20 Plus with the Exynos 990 be able to catch up? Of course, this is the S20 Plus with the Exynos in it. There are, of course, S20 Pluses with the Snapdragon in it. These just happen to be the two devices I have been able to get hold of with the Exynos and the Snapdragon. As I'm saying, the Galaxy S20 Ultra is into the infinite scrolling list. And so now is the S20 Plus with the Exynos 990. Let's see what the particle rate is going to be in this mode. But 28 frames a second there on the right hand side. Be interested to see what we get on the left hand side now. What's that going to be? The figure will come up now any moment. What's it going to be? Come on, come on. Let's see. 14 frames a second. Oh my life. I can't believe that. That is a huge difference as both tests are. Both phones are now into the UT test. But the uh, S20 Ultra with the Snapdragon is going to get to the end of that. It's now into the real test. While the Exynos 990 version of the S20 Plus is still going through. The UT test, the S20 Ultra is cutting its way through that test really easy, like a chainsaw through it. There we go. 1 minute 31.5. And as we're saying that, the Galaxy S20 Plus with the Exynos 990 is still inside of the UT test. Clearly a much lower frame rate there as it's now coming to the end of that valley. It will now go into the Unreal test. So again, as always, we're testing Unreal and Unity, the two major platforms for developing 3D games on Android. And as we're doing this, that's not bad. That's nice. That's a nice, smooth experience, but not as good as the other one. There we go. Final time, two minutes and oh, half a second there. So, OK, let's break down the scores and see exactly what happened. So we can say with certainty that the Snapdragon version of the S21 with 1 minute 31.5, 29 seconds later, came in the Exynos 990 version, 2 minutes and half a second. Let's look at the CPU, 44.7 for the Exynos version, 38.4 for the Snapdragon version. That's a difference of 6.5. Three seconds, so a clear win there by the Snapdragon version. 27.8 versus 23.3 in the mixed CPU GPU test. Again, a lead there of 4.5 seconds for the Snapdragon version. And then when we get to the GPU, this is where the big difference is seen. 47.9 versus 29.6. That's an 18.3 second difference. So overall, the Snapdragon version won. One minute 31.5. Five. My name is Gary Sims. This is Speed Test G. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and stick around if you like these types of videos by subscribing to the channel. Okay, that's it. I will see you in the next one.